Hi, uh, my name is Jim Murray and I'm in the Atkin Guitars workshop to talk about Atkin Guitars. Um, I'm trying to remember when I first came across Alistair's Guitars, but I, I think I was at a, a, music, a music show when I was at university, in my final year of university. And I was, I was sort of looking out for a, a, a new acoustic that I wanted to get. Um, and, I, I, and I saw the, them all on a stand and I, I you know, picked it up and I sort of immediately knew that it was... That, that was that was what I wanted and I went away um, w with that in, in mind and then a couple of months later when I had a bit of money to, to spend on a guitar I gave him a ring and um, and eventually he built me he built me an OM which is very much like this one this is this is a new guitar but um, but similar to the one that I play which has a koa back and sides and a spruce top and a mahogany neck um, and that guitar I think has played tens of thousands of gigs, um, possibly, I don't know, I might be exaggerating, has played thousands of gigs in, in, in the meantime, I've, I've played it every show I've done pretty much since 2002, so 12 years later. Um, I, bought, I bought another one from him as a, as, a, as a spare when I went on tour with Richard Thompson a couple of years later, uh, and I got a J45, which I think was I think was a, a special sort of prototype J45. It had lots of abalone and gold, and was a big deep guitar. And I played that in the studio for a couple of years as my recording guitar. Um, and then eventually I got got rid of that because my original OM got stolen from a train. And um, Alistair was very kind enough to sell me the, the prototype of his AA model, which is. Uh, deeper, deeper than the production ones. It's about three quarters of an inch deeper. Um, and I play generally my lowest string is a is a low C. Actually, that's a D. But a low C or possibly a low B flat. So the extra depth of the body really helps it to, to speak. And um, and I played that for a bit. And then the police got my original uh, OM guitar back, very luckily. But I think I've you know I've really grown up playing. Atkin guitars. I've um, I've been playing them for them for so long, and particularly that that OM, that it's really shaped the way that I play. I, I think I probably wouldn't play the same if I if I hadn't have, have had those guitars. And the shape of the neck, and the the way that the the, the strings interact, and, and I think the the, the the definition between the strings is is quite important for things that I do. Uh, and if I'd have, if I'd have been playing a different make of guitar or a different model of guitar, I don't think I would have I would play in quite the same way. So it's been been really really important to me as a as a player to to have good instruments that respond in in a way that inspires you to to keep moving in a certain direction. And the A the AA model that I have now, the, the deeper body, rings out even even better with low low tuning. So my lowest string is getting lower and lower and lower. Um, so I've I own three Atkins at the moment. The the third is I think. As of right now, the, the only um, L1 bazooki guitar. So it's, it's a four-course, eight-string version of the L1 guitar that I use for playing tunes and use for, for playing backings and things. And I used that quite a lot on tour with Eliza Carthy last year. And I'm using it a lot on a, a, on a record at the moment that I'm doing with my sister, who's called Jackie Oates. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's been really great to play really good instruments um, it, it, it literally has changed changed the way I play and changed the music I make so I'm really very grateful for, to Alistair for making such um, amazing guitars I'm going to play um, a child ballad uh, called Lord Douglas so it's, it's based on child ballad number 8 which is called Earl Brand in the child ballad books um, but it's it's a song that's related to to, to folk songs from all over the world and particularly a Norse saga which is called Fiedrich's Saga um, but it, the, the song's been quite good for me it, it won uh, the, the best traditional track at the BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards last year so it's, it's probably my favourite song that I, I play uh, so it's called Lord Douglas
out his heart to Briar. The Briar ran the road and grew up together. No higher. And there they twine the true love's knot together.